hello friends welcome so uh, in this video i am going to talking about a child teams like why the child teams is required what is the child team why it's so important to create a child team to uh, you know override a custom uh, to override the functionality of the parent team okay so like that's the way like why we creating the child team is to override the um, functionality of the parent team so that if the parent team going uh, gets a new updates then our changes our custom changes won't be lost because we have moved we have created a child teams to to make some customization okay uh, so basically like child teams allows you to change uh, small aspects of your site's appearance okay but still it will preserve your themes look uh, and the functionality so for example in this video i am going to create a child team of the 2021 team okay so whatever the functionality i'm going to uh, override it won't affect any uh, default uh, 2021 team or uh, styles and everything so i'm going to use that uh, uh, 2021 team styles itself but i'm just going to override their functionality like um, removing some team supports or maybe adding some team supports or uh, whatever changes i have made into the 2021 team during this uh, rec uh, videos and the demo purpose i will move to the child team um okay and then uh, overriding the template files and making or adding a new template files uh for our movie library plugin including the movie post type and the person post types right and the parent theme is the complete theme like okay which includes all the required wordpress template files just like a 2021 theme okay so uh that's what, like then how we can create a child theme okay so uh what we have to do is that i'm going to 20 teams folder then 2021 team i have created another folder called 2021 hyphen child um you can keep any name like this is not necessary that, that, that there could be a parent theme name then hyphen child this is not like you can keep any uh theme folder name for the child theme okay because uh, wordpress won't be identified or uh, identify based on the theme folder name whether it's a child theme or not okay but just for a reference uh, for easy to understand i have kept the 2021 hyphen child because like based on the folder name the developers and the users can understand okay this is the child theme from uh, for the 2021 theme okay so i have created that folder and in that folder i have added a style.css so here you don't see, uh, i haven't added any css file it's just like a header okay so that uh, whatever the information of the child team i am adding here in the uh, theme header wordpress will read that and display in the th appearance themes uh, 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 page okay and here uh, to to define the child team you have to add a template tag here and what what and the uh, parent theme uh, slug so this slug is like a folder name not the actual theme name okay so it's a folder name so that folder name you have to pass here as a template tag and be and based on it uh wordpress will identify this theme as a child theme of the 2021 theme okay and all rest of the header information will be at the same okay um so if you go here into the appearance a uh, themes so currently our 2021 theme uh, is activated and this is the 2021 child theme okay so i already descript added a description but wordpress also mentioned this here that this is a child theme of a 2021 theme okay because we have defined that parent uh or template uh, sorry template tag into the theme header okay so before i activate the theme how wordpress will identify whether this current theme is parent theme or the child theme activated okay so if you go into the database like during our previous video where i talked about how the templates uh, hierarchy works so wordpress identify the uh, theme activated current active theme from the style set uh, option and this is a template uh, for the uh, this template uh, currently the style sheet and templates where options value will be the same because 2021 theme is itself a parent theme and it's not a child theme okay so in that case both style sheet and template option will be the same okay but when i activate the child theme so for example i i can just activate the theme okay and if i go here in the database and refresh it now you can see that style is a 2021 hyphen child which is my theme folder name and the template it's a 2021 because style sheet which is uh pointed that uh that this is the active team which is my child team 
and a template is the 2021 because the 2021 child team is the uh, child team of the 2021 parent team okay so that's why it's a template and based on these options wordpress will identify either uh, what template if wordpress wants to load a single dot php template for an example so it will look first into the uh, child team okay and if it's not exist then it will look into the uh, parent team and if it's not exist then it will uh, fall back to the index.php template but depend like this way the wordpress identify uh, what uh, like uh, like child team have a higher priority than the parent team because we are using for the customization okay so if the template exists into the child team then it will load else it will fall back to the parent team okay so um and instead of like also if that theme, uh, template is not exist in both the team then it will fall back to the index.php template okay so it will check whether the child team do have index.php template then it will use that else it will use the index.php template from the 2021 team okay so based on these two uh, options wordpress will set uh, style sheet part and template part constant okay which we have seen into the locate template function in the previous video uh, and based on these options we uh, wordpress will see identify what which is the current uh, active team and whether it's a parent team or the child team okay yeah, thanks for watching. See you on the next one. Jai Varpadis.